Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. This is gonna be the start of my Christmas decorating series. I think I'm gonna spread it out through multiple videos because I'm not doing it all in one day and I just thought that way we kind of spread it out and today's video is gonna be some cleaning and then just some decorating, mostly in my living room area. Um, I'll see how far I get but uh, I have a little bit of it decorated already, but I'm gonna take you guys with me from the beginning. So I'm just so excited. I have not decorated Christmas in this house yet here in Florida, and I'm just excited. So I hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you're new, consider subscribing. I was so excited to get started decorating. I had had a bunch of things sitting out for a while, but before I did that, I wanted to get dinner prepped and ready, which is just a roast in this case. I have shared this with you guys before. I don't really use a recipe, but I just use a chuck roast, put a stick of butter on top, and I add some onions, some different seasonings, I add some broth of some sort usually, and let it slow cook, um, preferably on low, which is what I did pretty much all day. And then later I added some carrots, and I also usually make baked potatoes with them. So this is what my house was looking like before I started. I had taken down my fall decor and sort of played around with a few things, but not just a whole lot. I am just kind of going to show you real life. I did not get to all of the areas today, as I mentioned, but it was a good start and I'm so excited to keep sharing the decorating videos with you guys. I really hope it gives you inspiration. I know it's early for some people, but we YouTubers and bloggers generally try to get it done a little earlier so that, you know, the rest of you all have some inspiration if you need it. I have been perusing Pinterest and whatnot, but anyway, I decided to do a little bit of cleaning in some of the surfaces and stuff before I got started. Uh, these glass shelves can kind of get dusty, and if you're wondering, this is an Ikea Vitzjo shelf. I actually picked it off picked it up off of Facebook Marketplace, but you could still buy one that's pretty much similar to this at Ikea, and I think it's like 70 or $80, and it's honestly one of the best purchases I've made. I love decorating it, and I love switching it out uh, for different seasons. I do have videos, uh, I think one for fall, where I showed me decorating it, and also I have another one um, with like a styling tips idea. So you can always check those out. I will have them in my home decor playlist, I'm guessing, or fall playlist. So, yeah. Also, I wanted to mention, if you did not watch my Christmas haul that I did like two or three videos back, you may want to do that. I showed some of the things that I bought recently, although I have bought more since then, but I had a good start uh, of things that I brought from Ohio, but I also added some more things. So I'm just kind of playing around with stuff, and I don't know if I'm going to go into a lot of detail as to where I got everything, because I'm guessing in my Christmas home decor tour I would talk about a lot of that stuff, but uh, my tree collection is a variety of different places. I did pick up some of the bottle brush ones at Target Dollar Spot this year, so you could check for that. And then a lot of my greens I've had from years past. The black uh, reindeer is from Home Goods, I think, just this year. So. So I get asked quite a bit where my shelf comes from above the couch, and this is actually what we made ourselves. We just used pine board and then stained it. I forget the stain color name. American something maybe? 
<laughs> I should remember this, right? But anyway, I love changing this out seasonally, and if you remember my haul from Ikea, you might notice that barn. Uh, I have a poster, and then also the frame itself is one that I found at Goodwill. I took the original poster out, and I'm ending up actually using the frame. So, yeah, the green uh, forest looking picture is from Home Goods, very inexpensive. And so, I'm just kind of playing around with things, and I don't know, I just, I'm having so much fun this year decorating. Uh, last year, I just, yeah, with moving, we didn't really get to at all and just a new house and everything it just it's it's really fun So I tried to play around with some things on my coffee table, but in the end, nothing was really working. I felt like I needed some other things to work with, and so I finally just kind of left it. I just figured I would show it to you guys because, you know, this is how it goes. <laughs> a lot of times I'll play around with things for a while, move things around, switch things, and sometimes it just doesn't work, so it's okay to just take a break and come back to it later. I decided to tackle my stairway. I got some of these cedar garlands from Target and I'm not sure that they're selling these exact ones anymore because I bought like six maybe and I ended up needing like another one so the other night when I went back to look they had some similar but they had some where they had blueberries on them and some pine cones. I did buy it but it wasn't like exactly the same. I kind of picked the berries off and stuff but they do have something similar if you're look, looking for something like this, um, but it definitely took a little bit of time for me to, to get it there, and I may still play around with it. I'm still kind of looking at it and, you know, adjusting things, adding things maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, just thought I would show you guys that in case you're looking for something. But I'm starting on my shelves here, and like I said, this is probably my favorite thing to do, but... Um, also, I was going to tell you, if you're curious about my dress, I got it at Target, and it was not a maternity dress. I'm currently like 32 weeks, for those of you wondering, but it was just in their clearance section, and I actually just adapted it for a maternity dress. Just setting up my nativity scene here and I really like it it's actually the first one I have like I mentioned in my other video but um, in looking at it I just I don't know it's a good reminder for me because it's so easy for us to get caught up in the hype of Christmas and I don't like all the hype that goes with it I mean don't get me wrong I love Christmas it's probably one of my favorite um, you know seasons and everything although it's different here in Florida but the reason why we celebrate Christmas is what I'd like to remind everyone. Um, it's just kind of easy for it to get blown up and we forget, you know, the simplicity and what actually happened in Christmas. Whether it actually, you know, happened this time of the year, probably not. But um, I'm just going to read out of Luke 2. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. And this was the angels talking to the shepherds when uh, after Jesus was born. And so they went to Bethlehem and found baby Jesus in a stable, in a manger, uh, whatever you want to call it. We don't have all the details, but in any case, it's just such a gift that we were given to be able to 
have this gift that Jesus gave us, which is himself. And that's why I celebrate Christmas. And that's just something that I would like to remind you guys of. Um, it's just to remember the true meaning of Christmas and why we celebrate it and to just be thankful that Jesus was willing to come to earth as a baby, as a man, and just give his life for us so that we're, we can be saved. Like that's the best thing I can ever think of and it's the best gift that anyone can ever give. And so I just wanted to remind you guys of that and just... Yeah, it's just a good reminder for me, and I always want to um, just try to keep this in perspective throughout the Christmas season. I may still tweak a couple things on the shelf, but you know how it is. You kind of look at it, stare at it for a while and whatnot, but I'd say the majority of it's going to stay and I'm really pleased with it so far. like get to show all my gifts and stuff from people but this was on my registry and it's honestly my first diaper bag I don't have any yet it's like a backpack diaper bag and I've never had a backpack style and the person who gave it is Madeline Madeline Kristen I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right but thank you it is gorgeous I'm so excited it has a pocket here in the front and another smaller one here and this I'm intrigued by it's a it's a charging cable. It's like an, a USB cable. So I'm assuming I could charge my phone. And then you can plug it in out here to recharge it. I mean, what? And then it's got some pockets inside. Um, another pocket back here. And then a pocket out here that looks like it's actually insulated somewhat. Another one over here. Oh my goodness. This is a Miss Fong official. So excited. Thank you. Oh. I love it. I'll try to link it if I can remember to link it. And if I can find it again. I think it was from Amazon. So if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys. So this is coming to the end of my video. But this is going to be my first segment of the decorating videos. That I'm doing. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna be uh, filming for you, but at least another one or two probably, and some more things mixed in throughout vlogs and stuff. But 
Um, the next one is going to be a vlog and also kind of focusing on my kitchen, I think, and dining room maybe. So be on the lookout for that. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would love if you would. Um, that would mean a lot to me. And also, if you like this video, just share it with your friends and just, yeah, that really helps me out and I just appreciate it very much. So my roast is ready. It's been slow cooking all day on low. I added some carrots about midway through the day. Also, I put some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce in it um, probably this afternoon sometime. And then I also put some potatoes, oof, you can't see, in the oven. And then we like to eat it with sour cream and shredded cheese and stuff. Super easy and it smells delicious. So that was dinner and this was coming to the end of my day. So I just want to leave it at that. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Your key.